we would like them as graph using x and y intercept x intercept are where the graph crosses the x axis algebraically you find x intercept by setting is equal to zero and solving for x the y intercept is where the graph crosses the y axis algebraically we would find that by setting x is equal to zero and solving for y notice that when i define this x intercept i use plural because you can have more than one x intercept and function wires on the y intercept i only use singular you can only ever have all intercept if you are talking about function so let us look at the three graphs there here i am trying to find the x and y intercept of the following graphs in this class i would really prefer that you write your x and y intercept as order pairs please we are have x and y intercept on every single test and i would really prefer that you write your intercept in order pair from let's take a look at this first line we have our x axis horizontally and our y axis is vertical looking at the x axis where does my graph across the x axis well that happens at negative when the order pair there is a negative one comma zero on my y axis and my y intercept is right here or at zero comma when on the next picture on the x axis it looks like my graph crosses twice and i allow it to have more than one x intercept well yes one and one have two x intercept one is at negative one comma zero and the other will look like it is at one two three comma or oh, zero on my axis look like my y axis only cross once which is the maximum number of y intercept you are allowed to have you are only allowed to have one if your relation or graph is a function the y intercept look like it is at zero comma negative three on the last graph on the x axis my function crosses twice at negative two comma zero and at three comma zero my graph crosses the y-axis once at zero comma 